Welcome back, dear listeners, to another episode of our podcast, Health and Wellness, Food for Thought. Today, we have a very important topic to discuss, the hazards of consuming wheat-based diets. And to help us better understand the subject matter, we have a special guest joining us, Dr. Emma Thompson, a renowned nutritionist. Welcome, Dr. Thompson. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Dr. Thompson, we often hear about wheat being linked to various health risks. Could you shed some light on the scientific evidence supporting these claims? Absolutely. Over the years, scientific research has shown that wheat can be problematic for some individuals. One key factor is gluten, a protein found in wheat, which can trigger adverse reactions in people with celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. These conditions can range from digestive issues to more serious health concerns. That's astonishing. So it appears that consuming wheat-based products might not be suitable for everyone. But what about those individuals who don't have gluten-related ailments? Are there any risks associated with wheat consumption for them? Yes, definitely. Even for those without gluten-related issues, wheat can pose challenges. Some people may experience symptoms such as bloating, fatigue, brain fog, and joint pain. Emerging research suggests that consuming wheat may affect our gut health, contributing to inflammation and other health conditions. Thank you for clarifying that, Dr. Thompson. Now, let's dive into the alternatives to wheat flour available in the market. Can you enlighten us on some of the most commonly used ones? Of course. When it comes to wheat flour alternatives, we have a variety of options that cater to different dietary needs. Almond flour, coconut flour, and chickpea flour are widely used alternatives. Almond flour, rich in healthy fats and low in carbohydrates, is great for gluten-free baking. Coconut flour is high in fiber and suitable for those on a low-carb or keto diet. Chickpea flour, on the other hand, offers a good protein content and is popular in many cuisines. Fascinating! It's amazing to see the diversity of options available for individuals looking to avoid traditional wheat flour. However, are there any drawbacks we should be aware of in using these alternatives? Absolutely. While these alternatives offer excellent alternatives to wheat flour, they do have some drawbacks. Almond flour and coconut flour can be more expensive compared to regular wheat flour. They may also require adjustments in recipes due to their unique properties. Chickpea flour has a distinct taste that may not appeal to everyone. Additionally, all these alternatives have different nutritional profiles, so it's crucial to consider them when planning your meals. That's valuable insight, Dr. Thompson. Now, considering these variety of alternatives, how can individuals determine which one suits their unique dietary needs? It's important to listen to your body and be mindful of any reactions you may experience. Experimenting with different flour alternatives might be necessary until you find the perfect fit. Consulting a healthcare professional or registered dietitian can also provide personalized guidance based on your specific dietary requirements and any underlying health conditions. Fantastic advice, Dr. Thompson. Before we wrap up, do you have any final recommendations for our listeners who are considering a shift away from wheat-based diets? Absolutely. Making informed choices about your food is crucial. If you suspect wheat might be causing you problems or simply want to explore different options, I encourage you to try out the alternatives we've discussed today. Start small, experiment with various recipes, and don't forget to consult professionals who can guide you on your journey to better health. Thank you so much, Dr. Thompson, for sharing your expertise and helping us understand the hazards associated with wheat-based diets, as well as the alternatives available. We truly appreciate your time and valuable insights. Thank you for having me. It was my pleasure to be here today. And to all our listeners, thank you for tuning in to Health and Wellness. Food for Thought. Remember, it's essential to stay well, informed about your food choices. Join us next time as we continue to explore exciting topics related to your health and well-being. Stay healthy and goodbye for now. Music